Okay, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Solly Goods. It's actually Solange Ellen Goods is my full name. Um, and in follow on to the last um, video that I did with um, my husband Toby, where we were talking about the state of the world and the emergency that we're in and the fact that we're actually at war and under attack right now by the central banking cartel who are a death cult. Um, we, we have written a breakup letter to our bank, which is the Commonwealth Bank. Um, I've written to Matt Corman, CEO of the Commonwealth Bank, and I just want to read out the letter and share that and make it available to our community of people to, you know, hear the, hear the truth and to enable and empower you to do your own fact-checking, you know, like listen to what I'm saying and I'm happy to, you know, make the written version available as well and look into it, fact-check it, see if what I'm saying is true, please. This is the truth that sets us free. Dear Matt, recancellation of death pledges, termination of consent to contract between the living and the dead. I'm writing to you as the living man who heads the for profit corporate entity Commonwealth Bank. My name is Solange Ellen Goods, and I'm writing to you on behalf of myself and my husband, Toby Graham Lockyer and all other living, living Commonwealth Bank mortgage fraud victims who have been tricked and trapped into debt slavery through your corporation's human debt slavery racket. We are currently experiencing immense and ongoing financial, spiritual, mental and emotional hardship as a result of your bank's debt claims against us and against our real property. As we remain under direct and ongoing attack by the international banking cartel-backed COVID staged pandemic, which is an act of psychological and economical warfare against ourselves and our human family as a whole. When we entered the mortgage arrangement with the Commonwealth Bank, we did not understand the fraudulent nature of the current financial system and the centralised hierarchy of for-profit corporations trading in human debt slavery. We still do not understand how your system of human enslavement operates, other than that it is by deception, held in place through threats and fear of harm and loss to we, the living human beings. We now know enough to know that we were tricked into this current system where corporations claim rights to our lives and our livelihoods and our real property at the expense of our human freedoms and well-being. The last 12 months have been extremely stressful as the centralised hierarchy of corporate human herd control has launched their COVID crisis psychological warfare operation against we the people. Our income and overall human well-being have been severely impacted by the coordinated and ongoing attack on our human rights and freedoms being engineered through the corporate entities that use falsified documents to claim rights over us as living beings and over our living land and private property. This system of corporations using falsified documents to fraudulently claim authority over our human lives starts from the manipulation of our registration of birth document, where the corporation fraudulently claiming to be of the people make the completely false claim that we, the living baby boy or living baby girl, are dead and lost at sea. Therefore, appointing themselves to manage our estate and our share of our divinely given inheritance as a divinely designed and created living human being. Through the corporation's maritime admiralty law, this is in direct and ongoing violation of divine and natural law and constitutes a crime against our divine creator and an ongoing crime against humanity. Corporations making false claims to jurisdiction and powers that they have no right to make that cause harm, loss, hardship and suffering of living beings 
is a crime of the highest order. This system of corporate controlled human slavery has been intruding upon and interfering with our divinely given natural human freedom and our divinely given right to our natural human development and our natural connection with our living earth from the time we have been registered into this system of corporate control and extortion without our conscious consent. The system operates in direct violation of the universal law of free will by deceptively registering divinely created living human beings into a system of corporate control and debt slavery and tax slavery that we do not understand. The system of corporations fraudulently claiming rights over we the living men and living women of our living earth is the root cause of almost all the suffering and subjugation of our human family as a whole. Wars are for profit operations, for profit, engineered by those who control the centralised hierarchy of corporate human herd control and management. Child trafficking is a massive global business that is, that is enabled by the economic inequity that is deliberately engineered by the for-profit corporations claiming rights to our divinely given trust estate. Our divinely created trust estate that holds in eternal trust our divinely designed and created living earth for the benefit and well-being of both we the living human beings and our living earth. Reference, silent weapons for quiet wars, the corporation's model for economic warfare, manipulation, extortion and theft from we the living men and living women and our living earth. You can go look that up. There's a PDF available. And you can download it or you can read it online. Because the banking corporations have engineered this birth certificate fraud, and made claim to authority over our divinely gifted right to live as free living human beings on our divinely created earth. We have been robbed of our divine inheritance by these corporations that are fictional dead entities that have no rightful claim to the estate that is held in divine trust for we as living human beings. These crimes by the non-human corporate entities against our living human family and our living earth need to cease immediately. You as the living man representing the corporation known as the Commonwealth Bank are notified that you must cease all debt claims by the fictional corporation against we the living immediately. Failure to remedy this ongoing crime against humanity will lead to yourself and every other living being profiting from the debt slavery of others through the corporations you serve and profit from, being held personally liable for your part in your crimes against we, the victims of your corporation's debt slavery crimes. Our entire divinely created earth is held in divine trust under the one true authority of our divine creator's divine domain. All other claims to authority or jurisdiction over our divinely created living earth and our divinely created human family are fraudulent and null and void in the light of truth. All such claims to authority or jurisdiction are in direct violation of divine law and constitute a crime against our divine creator and attempted theft and misappropriation of our divine creator's creation. Every living man or living woman currently working for these for-profit corporations that are receiving benefit to participate in this ongoing fraud and ongoing human debt slavery operation are committing an offence against your fellow brothers and sisters in our human family. It's unlawful for non-human debt entities to make claims against we the living men and women. These are claims that we do not understand 
and that are deceptively and deliberately designed to enslave, extort and disadvantage we the living to profit and benefit a dead entity and a few living beings at the expense of the many victims of this fraud. We who have been registered into this corporate system of human slavery are each a living human victim who has been the target of the corporation's fraudulent claims against us. This includes the living man and the living women, both working within the corporations without understanding the true fraudulent and criminal structure of this beast system of human slavery and suffering, as well as the living men and living women who live and work outside of the corporate structure of human herd control. We are all victims to the fraudulent claims of these non-human corporations. All living human beings have been tricked, trained and trapped into this deceptive system of corporations making evil and soul-sucking claims over our divinely created and divinely powered lives. We who have been registered as corporate chattel are all victims of this massive global crime against our human family. Some within the corporate establishment are also knowing perpetrators of this ongoing crime against humanity. These conscious perpetrators are knowingly benefiting and profiting themselves at, at the direct expense of the suffering and enslavement of their fellow human brothers and sisters. This is evil and it needs to end now for the good of all of our living human family and our living earth. The idea that this is in any way acceptable for banking corporations to be deliberately setting your living human customers up to suffer hardship and to live under threat of losing our homes and real property through deceptively engineered market manipulations like the ongoing corporate stage COVID crisis is straight up evil operating in plain sight. We are witnessing a criminal corporate establishment pretending to be a legitimate business while extorting we the living of our divinely given freedom and life force energy. How many days worked to pay the bank the debt generated in your accounting system using we the living, our promissory note, and our real property as the security? This is the biggest scam of all time. We are witnessing the corporate banks conspiring with the corporations posing as our governments to write and pass pro-banking provisions to benefit and protect the corporations while further disadvantaging and defrauding we, the living men and living women of our living land. The evidence of conspiracy and collusion between these corporate entities is plain for all with the ability to see and think clearly. We witnessed in the corporate engineered 2008 global financial crisis that the corporate government bailed out the corporate banks. While the living men and women lost their real property and were further enslaved by the corporate government borrowing even more funds in taxpayers' name, names. This is fraudulent criminal collusion, stealing peace, property and life force energy from the living men and living women targeted and victimised through this banking establishment scam. Here we are now with the same deceptive and predatory banking practices causing massive harm and loss to millions of hardworking living men and living women who live paycheck to paycheck trying desperately to keep up with the endless barrage of corporate generated claims against us under the ongoing pressure of the constantly increasing cost of living. This corporate manufactured financial pressure and stress is at cause of immense human suffering, including the breakdown of many families and living human beings driven to suicide out of financial despair.
Meanwhile, the corporate banks are raking in trillions in profit globally. With the banking executives like yourself, Matt, and corporate hierarchy loyalists receiving huge paychecks and perks, all at the expense of your fellow, fellow living men and women. It is disgusting and disgraceful and it is straight up criminal in the light of the truth about the systemic deceit and fraud within the banking sector and banking systems as extensively researched and documented by Australian white collar crime investigator, Denise Fraley. This soul sucking, life destroying, home stealing evil needs to stop now. We the people are divinely designed and created living human beings who are eternally free under divine law to claim our divine inheritance, to live freely on our divinely created living earth. Our living earth is divinely entrusted to we the living men and the living women of our, for our individual and shared benefit. And for us to be free to act as custodians and caretakers of our living earth, free from interference or fraudulent claims, threats or harassment by the corporations or any agent, officer, contractor, employee or anyone else in any way benefiting from or loyal to the for-profit corporations. The non-human for-profit corporate bank needs to cancel and dissolve the fraudulently generated claims against we the living man, Toby Graham Lockyer, and living woman, Solange Ellen Woods, immediately. We cancel our consent for your corporate organisation to hold any documents or records of any kind in our name. In our, <laughs> or in relation to our living land and our property. We do not do business with fraudulent dead entities or those who work for them. We the living man and living woman of our living land Reserve all of our rights as divinely designed and created living human beings under the one true authority of our divine creator. And we claim all of our living land and our real property under divine domain as part of our divinely created and given living trust in perpetuity to be willed upon our deaths to our living family and our living community as determined by we the living man and living woman who have claimed and created our living estate. The living land and the improvements we the living make to our living land belongs rightfully and wholly to we the living men and living women of our living earth. The non-human entities in the form of corporations, trusts or any other form of dead and fictional entity hold no rightful or lawful claim over our lives, livelihoods, living land, homes and property of we the divinely designed and created free living flesh and blood human beings or over our eternal souls. Regardless of what the corporate banks, high paid lawyers may argue or what the also corporate controlled and corporate loyal courts might, may find, the truth is the banking cartel and the corporate banks have created nothing of honest value or soulful life-giving substance in our world. They've simply hijacked and stolen the creative work and property of our divine creator and the creative work and property of we the living men and living women. Through a deliberately deceptive system of fraudulent debt generation via deceptive contracts and fraudulently generated documents used to enslave trusting victims who have been tricked and trained into signing away our lives via these death pledge documents. That is fraud. And contracts fraudulently generated and entered into are null and void in the light of truth. We as a divinely designed and created living man and living woman claim all our divine rights to be genuinely free under the one true authority of our divine creator we are governed by love and good conscience towards our fellow living men and living women. And we pledge our lives in service of our divine creator and care of our divine creator's living creation. We make our life pledge under divine law. 
So we cancel the death pledge that we made in error before we knew the truth. As a living man and a living woman of our living land, we do not recognise the claims to authority or jurisdiction of the corporations or any agents, officers, contractors, employees, or individual or entity loyal to the Luciferian system of false light, maritime admiralty law, as practised by corporate banks, state, courts, and corporate law enforcers. We do not consent to being prosecuted under any invented jurisdiction or any fraudulent claim. We claim full protection for our lives, our home, our living land, and all of our property, all that we are, and all that we have, and all that we create in perpetuity under divine domain. We know we are divinely designed and created by our divine creator, and as such, we belong to our divine creator who gives us complete and universal free will to decide for ourselves who we will and will and who we will not contract with. We have been divinely directed to cancel all contracts with dead and non-human corporate entities and to only do business with our fellow living men and living women of our living earth for our individual and shared benefit under divine and natural law. And by common law agreement between freely associating living individuals for our shared protection and benefit. We trust you, Matt, as our living human brother with your own human heart and soul, and as the living man heading the corporation or the corporate Commonwealth Bank will respect, honour and follow our living will and terminate all records and claims your organisation holds in our names or over our living land, our home and our real property under divine right. Yours in truth in our shared humanity. Solange Ellen Woods and Toby Graham Lock here. <sighs> if you would like the um, written copy, please. You know, let me know and I will be happy to email it to you. If you have questions and you want to, you know, talk more about what it is that I've shared or, I don't know, just reach out. From my heart to your heart, love is law and I love you. <laughs> <laughs>